smile on my face. And we're at our favorite crop, our number one crop, our just reap crop, watermelon. Alright, so today we are here. We have a nice little uh, two acre lot here at the moment. We have some others, but you know, I'm just showing you this today. A nice two acre lot. But really and truly, I must say to you that we're having a difficult time with the weather, you know, but we are trying to fight as success best as possible, you know. Not every day, as they say, is a rainy day. Sometimes the crops are going to come with difficulties and you have to fight them. You have to show your true just reap colors. You know, and the just reap color is to try to tackle any ad situation, whether adverse or otherwise. You know, so today I'm going to show you just a, a little bit is at what is happening at our... Um, what date is this crop again? Mm. Um, yeah, this, this, so this crop is eight to eight. seven weeks. So eight. Yes, mm. going into eight weeks. But more importantly, you know, we are because of the cold um, temperatures. You know, because it's, as it's chilling the climate. You know, um, we are seeing some, you know, especially um, fungus. You know, but we are trying. We are fighting very well. You know, but it's giving us a fight, you know, but we're trying to be consistent and persistent in our fight because we're at just reap, we don't give up. We always try to fight to the last end. You know, so I'm going to show you and to be honest to you, I am very pleased with the 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 the, 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 the fruit setting that I'm seeing so far. You know, although the, the crop is fighting, we try to apply as much um, nitrogen in the early stage we apply a nice amount, good amount of um, phosphorus as well which I think contributed to the, 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 the nice fruit setting that we are see, seeing we also apply some potassium as well calcium, zinc, magnesium, sulfur etc alright so I'm gonna ask our cameraman to come down so I can sh show you an example of our fruit set a fruit setting all right so as you can see there see we have one watermelon there one here one here one there one over there um one here as well see another one right here as well all right come mr cameraman one right here one right here see i think i saw another one over here okay see one right here mr cameraman one right there see another small one right there as well all right see another one right here all right so not bad at all it's just that small area guys it's just that very very small area we're looking in around around 20 watermelon very easy in just this close proximity you know so that is why i'm saying to you about the yield the fruit setting is very very um impressive you know even though we're struggling with not struggling only we are struggling but we're fighting we're trying to fight the the the, the fungus um that we are experiencing so far but the fungus um are giving us a little burn but we try to use some nitrogen and zinc and magnesium to, to to bring it back up so far it came back up a little and we're trying we're having the consistent level you know it's very difficult to expect your watermelon crop to be as green in the summer to be green in the winter months as in the summer months that that is not possible because watermelon doesn't does not like uh, cool cool weather and since we have this crop i think we have experience around three three um around three cold fronts that has passed already in one crop so you, you understand the type of circumstances and difficulties that we are facing but i'm, I'm gonna ask my cameraman to so uh, follow me take a trip i can show you some more fruit setting as well look nice fruit set one two three just in this little area look fruit set 
four, five. All right. Just one little ear there. And consistently come in now. Look. Full set. Look. Fruit is set all over the place, guys. All over the field, fruit set. You know? And it's a cameraman, just. Um, give us a 360. Yeah, give us a 360, uh, please. So, as, as you can see, guys, just take a look. It's a lot of bad look as at the. Uh, it's, it's not our best, but I, based on my recollection, um, is the first time we are actually going to have a starter crop in the winter and harvest it in the winter, right? Our first time, we can say it again, our very first time, and this might sound um, a little bit strange, but it's our very first time planting a crop in the winter and harvesting the crop in the winter this crop has never seen any summer months at all right, it has right through the winter and right now because of that watermelon is selling for around 150 Jamaican dollars per pound right now and that is one US dollar per pound it is selling for now right so, so you know that when when you have it in this period it is very very difficult to grow let's say it won't be at this price because the crops are not coming in but we are just three farms you know we, we we try to learn and learn and learn and try to fight as much as possible because our motto is we grow but we never give up all right so but all in all i'm still pleased with the it's a nice coverage it's not over covered so when the sun um, comes up you know um, the, the, the field uh, dries up very fast you know because the, the vegetation is not too much you know which is very 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 uh, important at, at this um, in these months you know because when you have over vegetation in these months more fungus problem guys more disease problem which you don't want to to face you know so less coverage more importantly you know it's very important that you have less coverage um one other thing i um was um trying to mention to you as well you see the foliar program aka spring program that you use during the the, the summer months so like in the summer months we normally use have our foliar program like for every seven days right in the winter month that is a complete no no as we're learning in the winter month i will recommend based on our experience right now and remember you know i must let you know as well is that we're in one of the hottest parts of jamaica right now i was still facing um problems with the cold so you can imagine in, in, in other areas that are, are, are have, have, a, have a cooler uh, climate you understand but one of the things um, I must mention to you especially with um, the fungi the fung the fung the fungicides right is that ensure that you have a spray cycle of maximum five days maximum five days because we started out in, in a young stage you can use the seven days but once you start to having more vegetation and the garden start to, to um, fruit set go to go to the um, uh, five days full application five days maximum it's very important because the, your, your fungicides are very important during this period because you suffer a lot believe me from my experience but as I said you have to consistently um I have to consistently fight and as as mentioned in other crops as well in this time because it's, the time is not so hot you know less water um uptake so don't overwet your 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 um 
your, your melon farm as well. Don't over it. Just try to have moderate irrigation. Moderate irrigation is very important as well. And try to wait during the day, uh, irrigate during the daytime. It helps to prevent fungus because once you irrigate during the night, then you, you're adding to your problems. You understand? Because you're creating a cool environment for the for the plant, which will give you some adverse effect you know but all in all i think with all the odds and adversities we're doing very well you know not every day is gonna be a 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 or 8 out of 10 but sometimes you have to happily and grateful to god i say alhamdulillah for the 5 and 6 out of 10 sometimes as well because 5 and 6 out of 10 in this in, in a time like this is like a 10 out of 10 in the other months you know so you have to be grateful and at just three farms we say alhamdulillah praise be to god for everything you know because that is our number one source that we depend on you know and afterwards we did hard work and and analysis and studies um shipping after you know so we're grateful again as we from um, from just three farms and as we continue to say we say masalama and big up yourself and enough respect guys <laughs>